Hello students, welcome to Great Booster. In this video, we are going to discuss some important MCQs from the chapter Acids, Bases and Salts. And please watch this video completely because every MCQ is explained in detail with proper examples. And while solving these MCQs, we will revise and recall most important concepts of this chapter. And I request all of you to please like this video before we proceed into the questions. Okay, let us look at the first question. The first question is, which of the following statements is incorrect regarding acids and bases? So, which of the following statements is incorrect? We have to remember this point. It, which one is incorrect? We have to find out. So, let's see the options. The first one is, acids have a sour taste. Acids have a sour taste. So, this is a true statement. So, this is a true statement. So, we need incorrect statements. This is a true statement. This is correct. So, this is not our answer. Acids have a sour taste. Bases have a bitter taste. Acids, sour. And bases, bitter. So, this is not our answer. And go to the next one. Bases turn red litmus paper to blue. They turn red litmus paper to blue. Is it true? Yes. Bases, they turn the red litmus to blue. Bases turn the red to blue. Whereas acids, they turn the blue litmus to red. So, this is also a correct statement. So, this is not our answer because we need an incorrect statement. Bases turn red litmus paper blue is the right statement. We need an incorrect statement. And the next one, Acids react with metals. Acids react with metals to produce hydrogen gas. Is this statement correct or incorrect? So, let's see. Acid react with metal to produce hydrogen gas. Let us take an acid uh, and a metal. Let us take zinc plus HCl. Zinc plus HCl. Zinc, ZN, it is a metal and HCl is an acid. Now, in this reaction, what is formed? ZnCl2 plus H2. ZnCl2 plus H2. H2 is the gas. So, hydrogen gas is produced. When an acid reacts with metal, hydrogen gas is produced. Zinc reacts with HCl and zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. So, this statement is also true. This is also a true statement, correct statement. But here, for this question, we need an incorrect statement. So, this is also a correct statement. So, these three are not our answers. Just we are marking it wrong. These three are not our answers. The last one. So, obviously, the last one will be the correct answer, but let us see what is this. Bases react with metal carbonates. Bases react with metal carbonates and to produce carbon dioxide gas. Is this a true statement? No. Acids react with metal carbonates and produce carbon dioxide gas. Acids plus metal carbonates gives rise to CO2 gas, carbon dioxide gas. So, do we have uh, any example for this? So, here we have acid H2SO4, sulfuric acid plus, plus sodium carbonate, sulfuric acid plus sodium carbonate, acid plus metal carbonate. What does it give? It gives sodium sulfate. NaSO4 plus H2O plus CO2. So, here acid react with metal carbonate and it forms sodium sulfate plus H2O plus CO2. But here the statement is base. Bases do not react with metal carbonates. Bases do not be react with metal carbonates. So, bases do not react with metal carbonates. So, here this is the correct option. This is the incorrect statement regarding acid bases in these four statements. Right? So, the correct answer is D. Bases react with metal carbonates to produce carbon dioxide is an incorrect statement. So, let us move to the next one. So, let us look at the next question. Which of the following reactions will result in the formation of a basic solution? 
basic solution. So here we have a set of reactions in which reaction a basic solution is formed. So let us see what is this reactions and their products. Here the reactants are given. Let us try to write the products of these reactions. And after that we will see which product is a basic solution. So here this is sodium oxide plus water. Sodium oxide plus water it gives rise to sodium hydroxide. And the next one carbon dioxide plus water. Carbon dioxide plus water it gives rise to carbonic acid. H2CO3 carbonic acid. And the next one sulfur dioxide plus water. Sulfur dioxide plus water it forms H2SO3 sulfurous acid. H2SO3 sulfurous acid. And uh, this is H2CO3 carbonic acid. And this is sodium hydroxide. This is sodium hydroxide. And here the last one NO2 nitrogen dioxide plus water it gives rise to HNO3 plus HNO2. Nitric acid and nitrous oxide. Repeat. So these two are formed nitric acid and nitrous acid nitric acid and nitrous acid so these two are formed right so now what is the question here which of the following reactions will result in the formation of a basic solution so among these four so this is acid this is acid and this is these are acids and this is only the base so sodium hydroxide is the base which forms a basic solution. So the option 1 is correct answer. Na2O plus H2O gives rise to NaO which is the correct answer. So let us look at the next question. Which of the following salts will give an acidic solution when dissolved in water? So here we have we are given a set of salts. And if these salts are dissolved in water, which one gives an acidic solution that we have to find out here. What are the salts? Sodium chloride, potassium, nitrate and ammonium chloride and sodium carbonate. So to answer this first we need to know what type of salts are these. Whether it is a neutral salt or acidic salt or basic salt. How do we know that? How can we know that which one is an acidic salt, which one is a neutral salt? So we have learned that in that lesson. Here we have the table here. When a strong acid and strong base reacts, a strong acid and a strong base reacts, repeat, when a strong acid reacts with a strong base, it forms a salt pH equal to 7, that means neutral. So here NaCl, NaCl is formed by sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid. Sodium hydroxide is a strong acid, sorry, sodium hydroxide is a strong base and HCl is a strong acid. So what happens here when a strong acid and strong base reacts then it forms a neutral salt. Neutral salt is formed. In the same way potassium nitrate also that is also formed by the reaction between a strong acid and a strong base. So this is also neutral salt. So these two are neutral salts. And NH4Cl, NH4Cl, ammonia plus hydrochloric acid. So this is formed by a weak base and a strong acid. It is formed by a weak base and a strong acid. NH3 is a weak base and HCl is a strong acid. So a strong acid and weak base. When there is a reaction between a strong acid and weak base, here the salt formed is below 7. That means it is acidic. So here this salt is acidic salt, acidic salt and whereas this one sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate it is formed from the sodium hydroxide plus carbonic acid. So the carbonic acid is the weak acid and it is a strong base, a weak acid and a strong base, sodium hydroxide. So what is formed here? weak acid and a strong base 
it is ph above 7 ph above 7 that means it is a basic salt it is a basic salt so now we have come to learn that which one is neutral salt and which one is acidic and which one is basic these two are neutral salts sodium chloride and potassium nitrate are uh, neutral salts and whereas ammonium chloride and sodium carbonate are repeat whereas ammonium chloride is acidic salt and sodium carbonate is a basic salt so when a neutral salt it is added to water it forms neutral solution it forms neutral solution and the same with KNO3 also the same neutral solution but whereas an acidic salt is dissolved in water it forms acidic solution and here also basic salt with water it forms basic solution so what we need here which of the following salts will give an acidic solution when dissolved in water so acidic solution is NH4 Cl so the option C is the right answer now let us look at the next question which of the following solutions following solutions will have highest pH which one will be having highest pH so here we have the pH scale just to learn about the pH so on the pH scale the numbers will be from 0 to 14 and 7 will be neutral and below 7 any solution any substance is having a pH below 7 it is considered acidic and above 7 it is considered alkaline right and the acids which are close to 7 that means which are in 4 5 6 they are weak acids and the acids which are close to 0 are strong acids so when we go down they are strong acids in the same way the bases that go from 8 9 10 these are the weak bases and the bases which are close to 14 are strong bases they are the strong bases now here we need to find out which solution is having highest pH here four solutions are given so one is the HCl solution and sodium hydroxide and acetic acid and ammonium chloride now let us see the pH of these substances so by that we can decide whether it is uh, having highest pH or low and here we have HCl we know that HCl whether it is a weak acid or strong acid we know that HCl is a strong acid it is a strong acid so strong acid means the pH is low or high strong acids means low pH low pH right but we need solution with highest pH this is low pH and next one is sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is a strong base it is a strong base strong basis means pH value is high so here high pH next one acetic acid CH3COOH it is a weak acid it is a weak acid but still its pH is low but not as low as HCl so low pH and the next one ammonium chloride ammonium chloride is a salt ammonium chloride is a salt of strong acid and weak base so it is formed from ammonia plus HCl NH3 plus HCl so HCl is a strong acid and ammonia is a weak base so when a weak base and strong acid they react what do they form they form a slightly acidic salt acidic salt so this is also low pH so among these four which one is with high pH sodium hydroxide solution is with highest pH compared to other three so the answer is B 0.1 m sodium hydroxide now let us look at the next question which of the following pairs will not result in a neutralization reaction so we have to find out which pair will not result in a neutralization reaction here we have pairs let us look at the first pair it is HCl plus NaOH so HCl it is a strong acid and a strong base when an acid reacts with a base when an acid reacts with a base it forms a salt plus water this kind of reaction is called as 
neutralization reaction so this is a neutralization reaction because it takes place it is happening between an acid and a base so next one h2so4 sulfuric acid and potassium hydroxide this is acid and this is base and again this is salt it forms salt and water and this is also neutralization reaction we have to find out the answer which is not a neutralization reaction and next we go to c c nh3 plus hcl ammonia plus hcl ammonia is a base it is a weak base and hcl is a strong acid it forms ammonium chloride it forms ammonium chloride so what is this ammonium chloride it is a salt and this reaction is neutralization reaction next we have sodium hydroxide and kcl sodium hydroxide is a base it is a strong base and kcl is it an acid potassium chloride no it is a salt it is a salt but actually we know that what is neutralization reaction it is a reaction between an acid and a base in which a salt and water are formed but here it is not a acid it is a reaction between base and salt so this is not a neutralization reaction this is not a neutralization reaction so the answer d option d is the correct answer right this is about the five important mcqs from the chapter acid bases and salt please subscribe to our channel and please click the like button for more mcqs and concept videos thanks for watching please like the video please share this video with your friends please subscribe to great booster channel press the bell icon to get all the